some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Got a uh, fairly short one here for you today of a sovereign citizen who found himself in a courtroom hearing due to the fact that he doesn't seem to believe in trespassing laws, particularly those that uh, uh, protect uh, people's houses, you know, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this softard well make a fool out of himself. Thanks. Good evening, sir. Can I get your name, please? Your name, sir. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm known as Wolf from the tribe of Shank. Did you make up that uh, tribal name, Wolf? Because it's not on the list of federally recognized tribes within the United States. You know, those that would have the uh, rights and privileges of tribal nations in this country i mean you know that's just like a soft hard to make up some tribal name and think that'll protect them against prosecution sorry dude that's not exactly gonna work for you at all so yeah fail on that part uh well i spoiled it sorry understood sir are you sometimes also listed on government doc documents as wolfram eric shank yep that figures he made it up based on his last name. Uh, yeah, dude, not working. Possibly. All right, sir. So what we're going to do this evening is we are going to talk about your conditions of release and we're going to talk about future court dates. I'm going to let you know that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You also have the right to an attorney, and I am going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. There's a representative from their, their office seated right next to you. One moment, sir. And in a moment, I'm going to hear from counsel as to release conditions. You were raising your finger, sir. I advise you before you tell me anything, again, because you have the right to remain silent, Talk to the attorney seated next to you first. Uh, Your Honor, I would like to inform the court that um, Mr. Shank has just indicated that he does not need my services. I think under the ethical rule, uh, the attorney must withdraw when the client lets us know that they no longer want to have us. So uh, I believe Mr. Shank will go pro clerk. That is what he has indicated. So if I may be excused briefly, Judge. You may. Thank you. So, sir, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to first listen to the county attorney. And then we'll go forward on release conditions. County attorney, did you have anything you wanted to add to your recommendations? Yes, Your Honor. Um, first off, just kind of a housekeeping in housekeeping uh, question. When the court inquired as to what this person's name was, he said Wolf of the some the tribe of Shank, I believe. And then when the court asked whether or not he was listed on government documents. I think it was perhaps or something to that effect. Uh, Your Honor, the state would submit that this defendant is, act is exhibiting signs of the sovereign citizen movement. Could have fooled me with all those uh, other declarations back there. I mean, I'm surprised he didn't use the living man argument at this point, but he at least did attempt the Moorish version of it, using his last name as a tribal name, which, well, doesn't really hold water either. And 
honestly, I don't think we have a an actual identification. If he's going to play rhetorical games, I would say this should count as a failure to appear. Gotcha, bitch! And perhaps he'd be willing to identify himself uh, clearly tomorrow, if that needs be. Secondly, the Sobset behavior points to a huge flight risk. It's recognized by the FBI and other law enforcement agents, agencies as a um, domestic terror group. And next we have the fact that this is trespass one. He entered somebody's residence and refused to be refused to leave after being told. That is the single most egregious form of trespass because that's somebody's home. And in doing so, this individual violated the sanctity of somebody's home and likely stole their sense of security. Next, we have two felony convictions out of California, assault with a taser and then stalking most recently in 2021. He's had jail time in the past and has been terminated from probation. And then finally, we don't have a residence here. So, Your Honor, if the defendant is willing to give us his actual full legal name, um, that's a great step in the right direction. But right now, the state is even more concerned about the flight risk because if he's going to adhere in question the court's authority by playing word games, the state, instead of the 10,000 that it recommended, we'd be looking at 25,000 for the recommendation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Shank, did you want to be heard on to, on release conditions? Uh, I'm going to invoke Title 28116. And that's another marvelous trait of the soft tards right here. You don't even bother to do your research on... Uh, what laws you quote. In fact, this one just talks about the dividing up of uh, judicial districts within the state of Oklahoma. I mean, good grief, dude. I mean, how does this help your case? I'll give you a hint, Bozo. It doesn't help your cause one bit. Okay, sir. So I have reviewed everything. I have heard both sides' arguments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold you on a $10,000 bond that will be cash or secured. If you post that bond, you will be supervised by pretrial services. You will abide by any conditions or monitoring they want you to do. You will not possess or consume alcohol or illegal drugs. You shall possess no firearms or weapons. You shall not have any contact with the alleged victims in this case. You will not go back to the incident location. And your next court date, sir, will be September 3rd, 2024 at 1.30 in the afternoon. If you post your bond, you still need to make sure you make that court date, and that court date may change. So you have to make sure you stay in contact with the courts and with pretrial services. And that's Judge, was that, this. Go ahead. Was that bond cash or cash or secured? The state would move for the former, not the latter. We will, I will amend my order and make it a cash only bond. So that will be your next court date, sir, 9 3 2024 at 1 30 in the afternoon. If you don't make that hearing, a warrant could issue for your arrest and proceedings could happen in your absence. That's all for this evening, sir. You are excused. And your honor, before we go off the record on this one, uh, I just wanted to make a brief record that. I believe since this is uh, a free charge matter, the Sixth Amendment is not implicated, so I think I can still withdraw once he indicates that my services are no longer free. Just wanted to make that point. Understood. You should have held him under $25,000 bond because I doubt you'll ever see this uh, dumbass ever again. I mean, he's already indicated that... Uh, well, by his actions alone that he thinks that he's above the law. I mean, if he uh, actually trespassed onto somebody's private property and went, went, walked into their house without their permission to, uh, well, do whatever to him. I mean, 
he's definitely somebody that should not be uh well left alone to his own devices. But what do you think, guys? Should she have given him the twenty five thousand dollar bond or just left it at the ten thousand bond as she did? I mean, seems like a huge mistake to me, but that's that's what the judge ruled. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?